Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Harry here, obviously, and we're back again for another video for you guys to enjoy. Yo, as you can see, we have a fire hazard rat thawing operation going on back here. You know what I'm saying? Don't try this at home. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't try this at home. Whatever. But as you can see, this is the process I have to go through to uh, feed my snakes. We have a tub of rats right here. And we got some heat lamps there thawing them out. And probably not the safest way to go about it. So, uh, yeah. Don't follow what I'm doing. Yeah, so 90% of my collection actually came to me eating live rats. And I had to convert them over to frozen thaw. Only because it's accessible to me. It's more accessible to me and stuff like that. But honestly, I prefer feeding live rats. Only because it's so much more time efficient. Like, you guys know. You guys who feed frozen thaw rats... You guys know, like, you're in your snake room for hours sometimes. Like, for hours just feeding them. You know what I mean? Because, you you know, you got to stand here and be like, Please eat. Please. I got to wake up early tomorrow. You're doing a little zombie dance with the rat. Like, ah, please take the rat. I got to wake up early. You know what I mean? And then they finally take the rat. And you're like, Jesus Christmas, that took forever. And it's like, oh, my God. Thank God. Jesus. Woo. Big shout out. <laughs> and obviously, that's not all the time. That's sometimes, you know what I mean? Most of the time, they'll eat perfectly fine, whatever, whether it's frozen thawed or alive and stuff like that. But those times, man, those times, if you're not a religious dude, you start picking up religion, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, so here's another pain about feeding frozen thawed, especially during this time, like the breeding season time. You know what I mean? Like, because some females I have, they actually go off food and uh you know i still thaw out the rats just in case they want to take it you know what i mean like it's still there for them but if they don't eat it then it becomes a wasted rat you know what i mean like we just wasted a rat and that sucks and honestly to combat that a little sometimes you know if i see a female or i see a snake that just ate and he's they're still hungry i'll try to feed them that extra rat um and if that doesn't work then we just wasted a rat and yeah, it sucks. So like I was saying, I had to convert most of these snakes to frozen thawed from live rats. And uh, yo, honestly, if you guys want to see a video of how I do it, or how I did it, and uh, I use a method called scenting. So if you guys wanted to see a video of like that process and stuff, I don't mind showing you guys. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to be real with you guys, man. I honestly don't know what other videos to make. Like I'm running out of content to make. Like, I'm being real. Mono e mono. Like I can't I don't know. I'm about to go outside and do some random shit. You know what I'm saying? Just for some videos. I mean, well, if you look at my shirt, I will do questionable shit for money, but I mean for YouTube though, what can I possibly do for YouTube? Honestly, like I enjoy making videos and I enjoy showing off snakes, but I don't know if you guys want to see the same snakes over and over again, cause you know, we're not over here. We're not fast growing over here. We're kind of, you know, slow pace moving along, doing my thing. You know, I'm just, just kind of chilling type over here. So, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below what kind of videos you think you would want to see next. And, uh, yeah. So, I read in a Facebook group one time. I think it was a Facebook group, but some people were saying that they preferred buying snakes that were already eating frozen thawed some people preferred buying snakes that were eating live and stuff so i mean me personally i don't care whether they're eating live or frozen thawed or whatever you know what i'm saying as long as they eat eating you know what i'm saying that's a snake that's worth purchasing for me you know what i mean like as long as they're eating whew, it's all good if you guys can tell already this video is about feeding all about feeding and clearly i got a lot of thawing to do it's gonna take some time, but in the meantime, I might as well show you guys some snakes, right? Those of you who are new to my channel, this right here is my phantom. And uh, it's a pretty cool story behind this dude. So he was like one of the first snakes that I've got. I had like one, I had like seven at the time, and this dude was like one of seven. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting story behind this dude. When I got him, he was actually like shy of 50 grams, and I got him for like maybe 50 bucks or so, something like that. I didn't know any better. Yeah, he came to me. He had so many issues that I didn't know about. Um, he had mites. Um, he wasn't eating. And when he did eat, he would regurgitate. He was losing weight. So I took him to the vet. Now, a $50 snake. I took him to the vet, and the vet bill came out to be like $350. So in total, this dude like cost me like $400 from the jump. And it was just a regular phantom. 
regular phantom male and uh yeah it was like 400 dollars from the jump but honestly like i'm really happy that he got this big and uh this dude ain't going nowhere only because you know we put a lot of effort and time into making this dude a lot better we had to give him injections it was crazy it was like my first experience with that type of stuff you know what i mean and i had to help him like poop something some hard substance out like i i remember i had to like soak him in water felt his stomach was really firm so i pushed out some like really hard i don't know if it was urates i don't know what it was but it was just some hard abscess and uh yeah successfully pushed it out and dude he's doing good man he's growing like crazy a little cool little story i figured i'd share with you guys not all the snakes here not all the snakes i have here are breeders it's one of the non-breeders here that we're gonna be keeping back and holding back uh, as a pet only because you know we put so much time and effort to make sure that this dude grew up to live like a, a normal happy life you know what I mean all right guys like 3,000 years later finally these rats are thawed out and look who's in the vlog now to help me out she's gonna help what the heck are you doing I'm gonna feed oh you some snakes no she's gonna help me feed these snakes just stop being a pain in the ass <laughs> but yeah so she's gonna help me feed these snakes um, and let's just get right into it, man, because it's been a long time. We've been waiting for these rats to thaw out for a long time. So let's just get right into it. Alright, first up, we're feeding our scalers. I gotta put a paper towel down there. Gotta shake it around a little. Don't worry, we gotta put the paper towel down because he actually just wet his paper towel, so we removed it for a while, but I gotta put a paper towel down for him. Look at that. Alright, let's see if this little girl wants to eat right here. Where's she at? She's right here. Ooh, got him. This feisty beast right here. Zombie dance, zombie dance. You want the rat? Oh, got it. There you go. Damn, already messed up the water bowl. I just cleaned it the other day. Yo, that was a sick shot. Oh, you missed the rat. Jeez. It's aiming for my finger or something. There you go. This girl's a beast right here too. Zombie dance, zombie dance. Come on, dog. We ain't got all day. I got work in the morning. Thank you. Oof, got it. Jeez, I think they're aiming for the camera. Any day now. It's not like I have to wake up early tomorrow. That legit took a whole minute. Oh, snap. This is uh, the mom from clutch number three and she's already back on food, which is great news. That only took like 30 seconds. Ooh. Oh no, you're in the right water. Right into the water. I can't help you. Yeah, I got it. There you go, little dude. <laughs> Watch that. Right this is the moon glow. Clearly already made her water dirty. Ooh, that was quick. Dream yellow belly pied. She's 
she's breeding for me as well so looks like she's off food too she was pounding food not too long ago actually now she's she looks like she's interested but oh there it is What's up with you guys today? You guys are really off today. There you go. So this is the mom from our first clutch. And as you can see, she's back on food as well. So that's always a good sign. Bang. That wasn't too long. She looks like she's on the camera. Nice. That was quick and painless. This is our pastel double head hypo puzzle. Dude, just eat it, bro. Just eat it, girl. Eat it. Come on. I know she wants it. I know you want it, dude. Wow, what was that? Did you just gag? What was I that? <laughs> what was that, bro? Oh my god. We ain't got time for that, man. Just, what the? Bro. Do you know why? Oh, she's pissed. She's like pissed at it, or like, you want to eat it, or like what? What's your deal? No. This is our, uh, this was our holdback from last year's clutch. Boom, oh, she's a beast. Never had a problem with her either. Wow. That only took like 4,000 hours. No, I'm just kidding guys, that was actually not as bad. It took uh, maybe like an hour or two. Um, but sometimes, I'm telling you right now, sometimes I'll be in here forever sweating. Like by the time I'm done with this, I'm like naked because it's so hot in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, as you can see, some of the snakes were like just not interested in the food and some of them took a little longer to just, you know, I guess hone in on their target and just attack it. And then some, as soon as you open the tub, it's just like, bam, they want that food. So, I mean, every snake is different, I guess. You know what I mean? They vary a lot. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching me uh, do another feeding video. And I'm sure you guys seen like a thousand feeding videos out there on YouTube. But yeah, thanks for watching mine. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. And I hope you guys are all staying healthy. And I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Stop coughing on each other. You know what I mean? Clean your... I mean, well, are people still coughing on each other? That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you, you know, make sure you guys are doing your hygiene. You know what I'm saying? That's important. So yeah, I'm going to head out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe to your channel. If you enjoyed what you saw, you know what I'm saying? I hope I can continue to keep the content interesting for you guys and fun for you guys to watch. So yeah, thank you guys so much again for your constant support. And I'm going to head out of here. I gotta go to sleep. Super tired. I'm gonna drink like 10 cups of coffee tomorrow. But yeah, take care guys.